Hey, this is the part in the show where I would normally tell you that you're listening to Smoked Meat. But today my guest is a vegetarian, and in honor of him, I'm renaming for today only the Grilled Veggies Podcast. Uh, Grilled Veggies is brought to you by Joe's Underground at the corner of 8th and Broad, Augusta, Georgia, in the bottom of the Lamar building. Uh, Jeremy and the gang just want to make sure that everybody has such a great time when they go down there. And they do. I mean, the first time you go, you feel like family. And you feel like that every time. There's such great people, great food, great drinks, great people. I go to Joe's and so should you. At 8th and Broad in Augusta, Georgia, in the bottom of the Lamar building. Now, I'm sure you're wondering, who in the world would merit a temporary name change? Well, I'll tell you. I had a chance to, to sit down and talk to this young man for just a few minutes. It was not a very long episode, but it's a pretty good one, I think. A uh, big part of my history growing up. Well, I, I won't even say growing up. You know, I was a young adult when I, I first heard him. But uh, if you've heard songs like Rock Lobster and The Love Shack, then you already know who I'm talking about. I got Mr. Fred Schneider of the B-52s here today. And I'm sure you've heard enough of me, so we're just going to kick this thing off a little short, short shot with Fred. So here we go on the Grilled Veggies Podcast. So, Fred, how are you today, man? Oh, I'm doing okay. Oh, wonderful. You're staying in with this pandemic going on? Yeah, like everyone else. Yeah, it's driving me crazy. I'm having to work, and when I come home, I pretty much stay down here in the studio. Well, that's good. Yeah. Be creative. Yeah, and uh, you know, that's one thing that's coming out of this. A lot of people are writing things. A lot of people are recording things like that. Um, I just did a comedy show down here, so it was a good time. Now, you know, for anybody that's been living under a rock for the last 40 years, you know, I just, I don't even know where to start. You know, the B-52s have been such a part of my history that I just, man, I can't thank you enough for everything that y'all have done. Uh, Well, (laughs) thank you. And uh, I know you went to UGA. That surprised me. How did you wind up at Georgia? I just wanted to be a conservationist and somehow I picked the wrong subjects but wound up in journalism and then uh, wound up in Athens uh, I mean stayed in Athens and we started the band yeah. luckily yeah I know I, I lived in Athens for a while and I loved it there um, yeah it's a great town it, it is there's just such a feeling about it it's it's a big town but it's got a small town attitude to it and it just yeah it does yeah, and uh, I know when I worked up there, you know, I had a couple of people show me about five different locations that they said were the inspiration for the Love Shack. Now, I know a few years ago it burned down, didn't it, the place that was the inspiration? No, I don't. That, that's all old history. Oh, okay. You can read about that in, like, dozens of years. <laughs> <laughs> okay, cool. Cool. That will work. Well, so, so tell me what's been going on with you. Well, the band's still going. We were supposed to be doing some shows, but, you know, they're postponed till next year. We're going to do our uh, 40th uh, anniversary tour uh, to celebrate. Um, God, we're celebrating just about everything. <laughs> um, but that's everything. Everything's postponed until next year. So, uh, knock on wood, you know, this virus goes away by next year. Yeah, I'm ready for it, too. I am ready for it, too. So, y'all going to come down to Atlanta when you can go back out on tour? Well, I hope so, yeah. Oh, me, too, because I'm just Pardon? south. Pardon? I'm just south of Atlanta. I want y'all to come down to Atlanta. Oh, yeah, no, I, I love Atlanta. Yeah, we, we moved here from Augusta, and... It's different because we were way out in the country in Augusta. You know, I had, uh, my driveway was almost a half a mile long. And here, you know, I hit my neighbor's house with a rock. No, so that's true. It's, it's been a change, but it's a good change, I think. Except for the traffic. <clears throat> oh, the traffic is horrendous. Or, or the way the traffic was. I don't know what it's like now during the pandemic, but. Oddly enough, it's weird because, you know, Georgia has reopened. Yeah, that's true. I mean, you're, 
the governor is a bit of a piece of work. Yeah, it's it's weird. I'm I'm a full time paramedic and dealing with this thing. I mean, it's people are underestimating it. You know, everybody was afraid at first and doing good, and now just because they don't have it, they they think they're fine and everything's going to go away. And you know, we we got to get this yeah, curve flat. I have a more. coffee business in Florida, and I was supposed to go um, this coming Sunday, but postponed it. And now I don't know if I'll be able to go, you know. It's mm-hmm. been a while since I've been down uh, to the land where the coffee business is and sort of chomping at the bit to get out of, you know, out of here and get down there. Yeah. Yeah, most most definitely. I'm ready to travel a little bit. You know, my wife actually runs a nursing home here, and, you know, we, we were aching to go to the mountains and just hadn't been able to go because... She's having to stay on top of that to make sure that everybody's safe and doesn't get this thing. Yeah, no, you got to, especially nursing homes, you got to really be careful. Yeah. Yeah. I'm just, I'm just ready for it to be done. So, I know we're going to do a little bit of history stuff. I know you don't like to do a lot of, a lot of old things, but, yeah. Well, it's just, do people ask the Rolling Stones how they started? I mean, it's been 40 years. I mean, it's read the book, Cool Town. That'll tell you everything at the beginning. <laughs> <laughs> That'll work. The book just came out about Athens bands, and I think that sort of sums it up. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Um, how did you like the old Georgia theater? Oh, that, it was great. I mean, I used to go there when it showed movies. <laughs> oh, man. Yeah, when I when I lived in Athens, we would go and watch different bands. I got to see Blues Traveler there, and I mean, I just saw so many neat bands that just were starting out. Yeah, yeah. I'm glad they got it back and running. Hopefully, uh, people are you know, whatever's going on, people are doing some little safe distancing and stuff, so it doesn't you know, Athens doesn't go down the pandemic drain too. Yeah, yeah. Um, I loved it up there. It was such a great little town. And that, that place, I haven't gotten to go since they rebuilt it, but I'm I'm like you, I'm happy that they did because it's such a big part of Athens and they're that and the whole downtown scene. Because Oh like, yeah, now it's like um New Orleans. It's like just bar after bar after bar. Yeah. Yeah. Um I know when I lived there we had a place downtown we would love to go to eat. Uh, it was uh Harry Bissett's New Orleans Steakhouse. Now, I think they call it Nola Athens or something like that. But it was so good. First place I ever ate. Yeah, it's the first place I ever got to eat in Athens. And uh, well, aside from the varsity, you know. Ah, the greasy V. Oh man, I've still got heartburn. <laughs> <laughs> I get heartburn thinking about eating one of those pimento cheese sandwiches. Oh man. Have you ever had the pimento cheese from the Masters down in Augusta? No. <laughs> oh, man, it's famous. I had a pretty mean pimento cheese from a real classic recipe. Ah, outstanding. Yeah, I know the Masters is famous. And the funny part about it is they never use the same recipe. They're always trying to figure out the old recipe and can't quite get it. So. Yeah, you got to really... Um... I found vegetarian Worcestershire sauce. I mean, that's one of the ingredients that most people don't realize. So. Vegetarian Worcestershire. Mm-hmm. I'm gonna have to look for, look for some of that because I've never never thought about it. So, um, you know, we talked a little bit about you know we're renaming the podcast today to Grilled Veggies, in in honor of you. Well, thank you. And uh, you know, what what made you decide to be a ve- uh, vegetarian? Is it just kind of a lifestyle thing, or just healthier, or uh, my friend just talked me into it, saying, you know, do I really want to kill animals to feed myself? And so I gave it a try, and it worked. Of course, my diet was pretty bad at first, but it improved. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it probably wouldn't hurt me a bit. I know it's a lot healthier lifestyle, but, you know, the I've just always been a carnivore. I just can't help it. Uh, oh, I don't. I don't. I don't proselytize. Yeah. If you want to hear, I'll tell you. If you don't, hey, you you go right ahead, man. This is this is all for you. No, no that's okay. 
Okay. Well, good deal. So, so tell me, what's what's the band doing now? You know, what do y'all still get together? Well, I know obviously right now you don't, but you know. Well, actually, yeah, we're sort of on hiatus because of the pandemic. And like I said, we're gonna be, <clears throat> hopefully do a a tour next year. Um, but everyone has their side projects. Right now, I'm uh, working with uh, Hard Groove from Public Enemy on a album, and I have a song out and a video out now with uh, Ursula 1000 called The Neptune Freeze. Um, the Superions, our Christmas album, is coming out again mm -hmm. with two uh, more songs. And like I said, I have a coffee company. I'm partners in a coffee company, and uh, it's based in Deland, Florida. And uh, it's called Braking, and people are interested, go to uh, communityroaster.com. Outstanding. Because, yeah, as a paramedic, we live on coffee. So um, yeah, Everyone likes coffee. Just about everyone likes coffee. <laughs> yeah, and we're, we're, I'm actually going to... Look at look into that as soon as I get off of here, because we're always looking for something new and something kind of church things. Yeah, right up now a we bit. have uh, I, I have limited edition uh, coffees. Right now we have Satellite Delight, mm -hmm. and we do uh, we have a space for um, organization uh, progressive organizations and charities, and we do. Um, monthly if you want like a coffee every month two coffees every month we do that um it's 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 going really well very cool very cool um yeah i'm up for for anything you know i like the part about the charity thing because you know every charity you know i, I hate to sound weird but every charity wants you to give to them and that's awesome because i, I love to give because you know i've been been fortunate enough to to be where I am right now, and you know a lot of people that don't have it nearly as good. So whenever I can, I do. But a lot of people won't unless they're getting something in return. And, you know. Yeah. Well, what we do is um, we the charity uh, uh, gets the coffee, and then um, they make a profit, and uh, they get their. Uh, members to uh, sign up for uh, monthly coffees and um, it works out for everybody. Uh, there's more details. Like I said, it's uh, communityroaster.com. Okay. I'm going to put that in my show notes too where everybody can go to it. Because I'm looking forward to trying some of this coffee. Like I say, we're always looking for something new just to keep things spiced up. Uh, so, so what are the other people in the band doing right now? If they got anything going on, or just kind of relaxing during um, hiatus? Kate, uh, working on a solo project, and I think Cindy is too. So, everyone's uh, keeping busy. Okay. Okay. Well, during this time, and uh, we're, of course, we're still in touch with our touring band. Uh, we wouldn't want to lose them for the world. Um, we just gotta, you know, wait this thing out. Yeah, yeah. I know. I'm. I've just. I've had a belly full of this thing, and you know, I. I don't know what brought it on. I don't know if it's just nature or if, you know, some of the conspiracy people say that nature going against us is what. It is. Yeah, I think so. I think so. Cause, I mean, I, I think you can. You can just abuse the planet so much, and things happen. You know, I mean, they give antibiotics for everything in the world today, so things are going to evolve. And you know, being yeah, this is this is a tough one. This is un unbelievable. Um, but you know, that's what everyone's talking about. So, what can you do? Yeah, and the thing about this, it does not discriminate. It don't care how old you are, how young you are, what orientation sexually you are, you know, what what country you're from, what color you are, anything. It's I've seen it take people from everywhere, and it's a horrible yeah, way to it's, go. It's a uh, something else. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. Well, I tell you, Fred, I've had a great time today. Um, 
This is going to be kind of short one just because I know everybody's kind of tied up and everybody's been a little bit busy here lately. Uh, but I'm definitely going to, I'm going to get everybody to go to communityroasters.com because, you know, it's one, good coffee, two, you know, they just help everybody. So coffee makes people happy. Happy yeah. people. Well, thank you. It's a wonderful thing. And we're looking forward to you coming to Atlanta on this tour when it finally, when everybody's finally able to tour. I'm so ready to get back on stage, and I can't. It's driving me insane. But, but we're going to get everybody to, when we get the tour dates finally, we're going to post those for you and help promote this tour. And we're, we're looking forward to it. And we thank you so much for over 40 years of doing this. Well, thank you for being a fan. <laughs> 